You're not gonna believe this one. Chris the Sheriff. Two for me, two for you. Cue the Christmas music. Feliz Navidad. We made it like two miles out of the shop. Malibu Seafood, we're back. You know, little Polly. Burnout King. Mondays can't get any better than that. Wait, where are you from? Sweden. Sweden. You are like, for me, when I look at my own videos on YouTube, always this vlog show up afterwards. So I see your taco and beer eating, so or drinking, so and driving in the rain at the drag thing. I could tell you my first bike I bought here at Holidays on Glendale. Really? What year? 82. Wow. FLP, $5,600. After that, I had a couple of baggers with sidecars and so on. Nice. The first Ultra in 89 I had it with a sidecar. Nice. Chris the Sheriff. It's December 5th, Monday morning. It's 9 a.m. Chris the Sheriff from Sweden comes by. He wants to say what's up to Juan and I. Is that you? That's uh, my uh, magazine, Big Queen magazine. Oh, right. Here we are filming a vlog. Here's the other thing. We have some of the dudes from Bell Helmets inside. I know you guys have been watching. We have been running that gray bell. We've been running bell modulars. The guys over at Bell have been watching our vlogs and like, dude, we wanna come by and share your vlogs with our people. They're like, can we come film while you film a vlog? Kind of interesting, but they're inside. They shipped us brand new helmets. They're getting their cameras ready. They kind of wanna come along for the ride and see how we do it while we're getting ready. Chris, the sheriff's in the showroom. He wants to come say hello. He wants to kind of shoot a quick little questionnaire with us for his vlog, his YouTube channel. It's a busy Monday morning here at Thrash and Supply. It has been raining. It's beautiful out and uh, we're about to go rip it. Boy is getting their cameras ready. You can see he's getting a film camera ready. He's got his still camera. Aaron, Sean, they're gonna be following us for the day. Whoa, dude, what's in there? So he did inform me before they sent the helmets that they were all out of the helmets that we want in medium, but the shell itself, I believe is the same. So he sent large shells with medium pad kits separately. Don't quote me. I would double check with the dealer or your bell rep or the website that you can do this, but that's what we're doing today. It's four lids. So probably two for me, two for you. You got plenty of them up there, dude. Black modular, classic, kind of can never go wrong with this. Throwing everything on the ground. Oh, I'm excited. I'm trying to hurry up. Come on, what are you talking about? Another blackie. All right. So Dude, that's sick. Up until like 12 months ago, he was so adamant. I only wear carbon, regular full face, race bike full faces. Once he started going on longer rides, once we started vlogging, I got him to wear a modular. I ordered him a modular. Now he's a modular guy. It's a life changer. Honestly, whenever I don't wear one, which is not frequent, but I'll pull up to a light and I'll be like, okay. <laughs> it's like a habit now. Every time I come up to a stoplight, I need a. Did you messed up. We should have opened all of these over here. I know. Oh, you that's should have. Put, put all the boxes in front of it. Yeah. Are you really trying to make it like Christmas morning over here? That's what it feels like, so might as well get the full experience. This scratch on my OG helmet, when you put my bike, you put it on my bike and you scratched it on my peg. And who got and it? I was, and who got it for That's you? why I didn't say anything. I was like, ugh. All right, Travis, cue the Christmas music. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Can you do the snow spray No, it's thing? actually Feliz Navidad. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> I built this in 94. I was part of the hamster group for six years. Do you still have that bike? Nope, I sold it and uh, I got a daughter instead. So, but then I was back yeah. to See a that couple launch? of baggers. He sold something for something else. That's yeah. one as a problem, not selling anything. I just get attached to my stuff. <laughs> it's called the Ficker Run, not Fucker, but Ficker. This range, you're in the middle of the woods in Sweden, but everybody's speaking. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, take it and enjoy Swedish wildlife. Yeah, we'll check it out. Thank you so much, man. All right, so Chris came all the way from Sweden, but we're gonna give him a couple minutes. He wants to get a quick kind of behind the scenes, I guess you could say a little bit of, you know, how Thrashing started, who I am, who Juan is. Five minutes and then get the hell out of here, I <laughs> promise. <laughs> Thrashing Supply, live but on Sheriff's Vlog. That's there right. I'll set this down so we can give you some attention. He's smart, he's an engineer, and he basically is... Uh, We've got orders piling up at the door already Monday morning. We've got guys like my homie Jack, 
He's pulling orders. You can see them stacked up right here. Get a bunch of orders out today. There's guys that want to get their yeah, orders. We're gonna get like 500 out today. All right, we're gonna, so. We're gonna get your orders to your guys' house right away. Let's get it done. Just so you know, even though Juan and I are out messing around riding, there's a bunch of dudes getting stuff out the door. Thank you guys for your support. Later this Friday, actually, we're gonna be dropping beanies, new hats, curved bill hats, flat bill hats, truckers. Get ready. Oh yeah, and there's gonna even be a rad little freebie surprise this Friday with your order. So sign up for our email subscription because there's gonna be some rad stuff coming out this Friday. Cameraman, cameraman, and I don't wanna just be holding the GoPro, so I'm passing it off to Jake. Enjoy the rest of the day with Jake's point of view. I keep tightening these and they keep going, dude. What's up with that? Well, of course it's gonna feel tight because you're weak. The freaking pull a stud if you go any tighter. I could throw it in my saddlebag if you think that I need it on the road. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. All right. One. They're just waiting for you, bro. Planned and programmed, but this is the normal stuff we do. It just takes longer. One more time never means one more time. One more time usually means yeah. like three more times. How about just do it again? Just do it again. <laughs> How come your bike doesn't sound like it has rocks in it? Because I changed my oil. Homie, that thing's not gonna make it past today. Shout out a slow or fast. Hold it there. We made it like two miles out of the shop. They already pulled us over. I did a little. All right, so we've been running through basically like a shot list and there's two different style cameras. There's a still camera and a motion camera. Visor down, through like splitting lanes, like at the stoplight, just kind of like things that we normally naturally do, but they're trying to really capture it all themselves. Higher quality cameras than we do normally with the GoPros. On the side of Mulholland Highway, uh, they are attaching some sort of suction cup and they're gonna chase us through Mulholland right now to get some cool shots of us kind of riding doubles. In the last part of the list of shots, there was one where it was just like a white room with a couch. All this expensive gear <laughs> to shoot you do a wheelie this high off the ground. <laughs> Yeah, so let's do that. Director Lance. Malibu Seafood, we're back. Is this your spot? Where did it land on the on the leaderboard for you? This is up there. It's up there. So we're getting fish tacos today, baby. We're running these modulars. We've been fans of them for a while. So check this out. Here's a chance for one of you guys to win one of these for free from us and Bell. Comment on this video within the first 24 hours of this video dropping, and I will make sure to send you a modular helmet, brand new of your size. As long as it's in stock, we will send it out that week. We'll also send you a thrashing jacket of your size and thrash and gloves comment on this video within 24 hours of its drop and we're gonna go through swipe through the comments and we're gonna stop on somebody so do it right now thank you guys so much all fresh what did uh what did Gabe order they ordered squid steak sandwich gross Jake's getting tube steak. Getting tube steak what are you gonna get I'm gonna get fish tacos bro what did we get last time they were like the branded ones or something you know with the bread and they cut the middle out and they put the hey, soup in was, it is that is that is one of those yours bro yeah dude chewy <laughs> How's it been in the car, bro? Been sick, dude. We were getting it in the canyons. Were you? Yep. Juan goes, if I had chrome mags, it'd be so sick. And then immediately goes, I don't want to be like everyone else. Yeah, everyone runs mags. I mean, they look good. I get it, but it's gotta we be got different. Folks, black, yeah, and then the chrome side brand. Side. It's acting like it's like a so like a flat bases. track bike. Um, I totally blew it as a vlogger. Got in, ordered food, everybody's eaten, they've all eaten, and I didn't even get a shot of what we ate. I ate mahi mahi with some rice pilaf, bomb, and Juan came back for the fish tacos. Sorry guys. I at least showed him the rice and the leftover was all on my plate. Yeah, you said it, dude, you dropped the ball. You're the camera guy. What are those? Dude, these things are bitching, brother. Lance needs to do the new boot goofing. I want to know what that was. I wouldn't even be caught doing that no, thing. No, you see, did. you know what I'm talking yeah. about? New boot goofing. Yeah. Lance, because he wears those, doesn't know what the new boot goofing <laughs> thing is. The engine's been kind of loud. I mean, it's, oh, good. it's good. 
Boyer, sometimes hanging out with Juan's like hanging out with a second grader. So they want to go back up the hill, turn around, come back, hit it again. And then after that is when they'll start shooting stills. So it's about one o'clock right now. Knowing filmers and video guys, they'll try to pull as much out of you as they can. I mean, they, they'll work us until the sun's setting and they'll still say that they can get more. Juan's gonna have a really good time. This one wants to play stupid games. I took his key out. I easily could have thrown it in the frickin' bushes. Hey, if we didn't have if we didn't have these guys with us, I would have thrown his keys in the damn road. It's always kind of a fun game, like shutting people's bikes off, whether you're like riding down the road at a stoplight, like hitting the off foot. So I've been doing it, I've already hit him like two or three times a day. But he hit me, he got me, he turned this off when I wasn't paying attention. So Boom, I grabbed his key, I had it in my hands. If they weren't here, I would have thrown it in the bushes. He would have been looking for hours. <laughs> I would have just laughed at your fuck that. That's one, thing, that's one thing I hated about this year, Dinah, was that key in the frame. It's Your frame gets all scratched up. So ugly. Pulls out, he's got his helmet down. He's riding right next to me. We all said go a little in front, helmet up. Do you think you were a cool answer? wheelie guy? Oh, you did do a burnout actually. Yeah. You did a burnout and did it was pretty that? decent. Wait, yeah, wait, I was surprised. Wait. It was a little squirrely. He goes, pulled out and he goes, I did a burnout way bigger than yours right after. Yeah, wasn't it? I don't it? think it really works like that. You don't do a burnout bigger. Because they want the open faces open right <laughs> yeah. now. My teeth are frozen. <laughs> hey, fool. Jeez. Look at that. Yeah. See that? I don't see anything. Look at the Dunlop. Warren, burnout king, bro. What's up? I don't see anything. Look at that. It looks like a normal Look, tire. Nope. Shredded. You have a chicken strip on there. You don't even go to the edge. The furthest point away from the shop is we'll get. Now we're gonna start heading back. More riding shots. We've got the coast in our back. It's a beautiful day out. It's like in the high 50s. On it has not been listening. They've told him to put his helmet up and then he goes and rides a couple miles with no, his helmet you down. Did it I did it one time, you did it one time, so shut it. are a little wet here and there yeah. little glassy little looking bumpy. i was like i'm not on the grippiest tire yeah old slick <laughs> shitty tire it's wet the turns are damp that is payuma it's a rad road and now we are up on the santa monica mountains with this view and you basically can ride the ridge towards los angeles blew them off here they are coming up now a little polish you see and then maybe we'll do a drone. And we could fist bump, boom, turn, helmet's up. All right, hold hands. You don't want to. Same. 
you went a quarter mile up the street to go pee and still couldn't find a spot. Oh, I'm right. like 10 pounds lighter. I peed yeah. like a racehorse. Yeah, right. So Juan has yeah. been circling the this bluff out here. The Dig a fist makes a trek all the way up there. There's some fool in the truck. I'm not gonna freaking pee in front of him. <laughs> I didn't realize that he was in there. Oh. There's people over oh, there. Yeah, they're gonna see my dog. Oh, oh my. Ooh, and then Mr. Fannin over here is gonna throw some mics on Lance's bike and we're gonna rip back to the shop. Light is very important for sound. Yeah, yeah, now that the sun is perfect and we are at the golden hour, you can put the cameras away and we can get all the sound you want. Yeah. Good dude, you're leaking. One cool thing too, like while we're out shooting with these guys, as we're testing new products. So this is a glove that actually has been part of the thrash and glove family. It was part of it like seven years ago. We kind of canceled it because it was hard to get certain materials. And then we were able to source the right material this time that we wanted. It is actually a, a windbreaker material lined with fleece and then a leather palm stealth. So it actually, it's, it's in the 50s. And right now I'm ripping, my hands are warm. I'll tell you what, my knees are colder than my hands. We've spent the day out here with the boys from Bell and we're getting the content, but we're also spending the day testing products uh, before we release them to you guys. I know a lot of people back in the day used to love these. They're coming back in 23. shots they need they said maybe a couple sound bites of why we like modulars i want to see you bang some wheelies Welding table showed up. Here. All right, we got a welding table. All right, here, off. I'll grab this side, grab that. We've been doing makeshift stuff to weld. So now we can actually set up a welding table. What we want to know, Juan, is what is in here. Did been... these come from Colombia? <laughs> yeah, there's a fellow that's up. <laughs> Just invested in some more goodies. This is stuff that will help Juan and I excel on prototyping and making badass stuff. What if a small human pops out of this thing? Yeah. Look at this. I have the inspector. <laughs> Got me. The press brake, home slice. Damn. Sending out everybody's goods, man. There you go. So we got a pallet of bars going out, it looks like, or pallet of stuff. Boys, how do we do today? Dick, um, amazing. I, I mean, I don't solid. know. Solid. Solid. That's right. The boys are putting in work, getting orders out the door. Kind of a little bit different Monday here at Thrash and Supply. And you know, we let Bell in to kind of follow us around, or actually we kind of chase them around. Get some shots of the new helmet for 2023. We took you guys along for the ride. My speedo said it was 90 miles, so it's pretty good riding. We got to test new gloves. We got to work with Bell. We got new helmets. Sweet R&D pieces came in today, which is gonna help us a lot moving forward. Thank you guys for hanging out. And one of you guys is gonna win a helmet in the next 24 hours after watching this video. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. And we'll see you guys on the next one. See you later.